Hello everybody, today I will show you how to help yourself with grid, guides and ruler in Flash Professional CS5. For the sake of this tutorial, let's first draw an object. So the first thing I would like to talk about are rulers. To apply them to our working area, you, you can click with right mouse button in the stage or out of the stage and then just click on rulers. You can do that also with clicking on view and rulers. And when you when we click on the rulers, they show automatically in our working area. You can see the horizontally rulers and vertically rulers. They are obviously to measure our working area. If you want to change the units of the rulers, you can do that with clicking on on the selection tool and then in the properties bar just click here on edit and then here change the ruler units so with ruler we are just measuring the things in our project the object and other things then the little bit more helpful things are guides if we want to apply guides to our object we we will have to first apply ruler which we already done then just click on the selection tool and move the selection tool on the ruler let's say that we want first to apply horizontally guides so move on the ruler and just click with left mouse button and move the mouse and you can see we have grabbed the guide and let's say that we want to apply the guide here we can see that it snaps to a rectangle because the snapping option is uh, checked up so just release it and let's grab another guide so j again just click here and drag with left mouse button and let's apply it down here now I would like to apply the vertically guide. So again, the process is the same. Just go and click on the vertically ruler with left mouse button and drag out the guide. Now the next thing is uh, when you when you work with an, a specific project in Flash Professional you can accidentally select your guides and move them when you are working with your object so to to solve that problem you can lock the guides to do that you will have to click on view guides and lock guides and then you can't move the guides all over and another thing with guides is that they are they won't be rendered out when you finish with project they they won't be visible at the, when you render the movie they are just here to help you with with your work. You can also adjust a few options at the guides. So to do that, just go and click on View, Guides, and Edit Guides. You can change the color. You can allow the snapping or check out the snapping. You can here lock the guides, and you can play with mode for snapping. The normal option is pretty much all right let's just change the color of guides and then just click ok the last thing i would like to talk about is grid to apply grid just click with right mouse button on the stage and then just click on grid and show grid and you can see the grid is automatically visible in your stage. With grid you, you can measure objects and other things. You can help yourself a lot with that. If you are creating a character or an object where you, where you have to measure the parts of the object. You can also modify the grid. You can do that with clicking with right mouse button and then grid and edit grid. You can change the color of the grid hide or show the grid you can show the grid over the object so that means the grid will be on top of the object as you can see in the background then you can uh, 
check the snapping to grid. And then you can play, you can also change the size of the rectangle. Let's make uh, the grid smaller. And you can see the result of that in the background. At the bottom you have the options to play with snap accuracy. So the normal is pretty much all right. You have some other options which are not important for now. Then just click on OK. Let's, let's first change the color of the grid. Then just click on OK. So that is pretty much all. You can help yourself with guides, with ruler and grid. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.